any one of you work as a network architect or system architect or IT network or IT project manager this is a good question that is why I'm here and I'll try my best to share my opinion with all of you in the cutting edge of technology now we are a witness of cloud computing as well beside that we have our own promises as well so we have a cloud network as well so as a technical person who has spent probably more than a decade in information communication technology, I noticed that if we have a few people, for example, if the small company or small project, for example, a combination of about 30, 35, even 100 people, if you see it's not expanding, project is only for probably for four or five years, or maybe it goes with this structure or with this way. So my suggestion is that you don't have to spend your money to move to your devices on the cloud. Is besides that, cloud is very secure and has high availability and so on. But so far, I've seen people. They have probably uh, twelve people, or maybe, or we can say twenty uh, employees and so on. They are rushed to move to the cloud. It is okay because once you move to the cloud, one thing you should keep in your mind is a subscription. The moment that you sign in, as of that time, you have to pay. No matter what, even a one dollar, they want to charge you every month. So that is why my suggestion is that if you think that you are very admin, less than 100, you just only need to move your exchange server to the cloud. That is fine because nowadays people are doing telework or working from home or remote work. That is fine. At least they should be able to access their internet. So rather than that, I will keep the entire devices, the entire data in our um, in my data center or we can say in my uh, server. The project is going to expand and it required for example more flow more traffic more security more vulnerability things is going on and we have to make sure that the project required because there's a, cert a certain certification for example if you go get some uh, project some of the project requirement is it should be 2099.9 percent uptime and we didn't want any downtime and I ha we have to make sure that it is very secure so if that is the case, that is a different thing. So then you, you have enough budget and you know how to handle it. My suggestion is go to the cloud. So cloud is a place that everything is secure, it is safe, it is high availability in case something is happened and within the minute you can find another ways that in order to uh, resolve and survive your information with the, with the customer, with the client and so on. So that is why I thought to share my opinion, like for a small company, just beyond promises, no rush, use the same firewall, use the same switches, have your servers, that is a good thing, so keep your kids stuff very clean and make sure that uh, make sure that you should keep in your mind that the cost does matter as well. With the on promises, here's the thing, once you purchase a firewall, one time you're good to go, you don't have to pay extra money. Because if you need a VPN, if you need a for example, access list or any types of things, for example, Cisco switch or any types of switch that you have. That is like whether it's layer two or layer three switches. It doesn't matter. Just keep it. That is safe. You're fine. All right. So uh, I thought to um, have some opinion about the cloud and these kind of things. And I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very, very helpful, guys, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and share this information with your friend, with your family, with your colleagues, with whoever. They are pursuing this kind of information. Until next time, as I say, be brave. And of course, the only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe and probably like the video that you really like the most. Thank you, guys.